Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. For this video, I want to look at those extra town centers that people commonly build, starting in the Castle Age. The benefit, of course, is that you can create villagers faster to expand your economy. No one would argue that they aren't a good long-term investment. On the other hand, there's no denying that there's a large upfront cost to get them running. What I want to know is how long does it take for a town center to pay for itself? Take a guess between the options there and we'll see if you're right. I'll assume we're counting from as soon as the town center is constructed and that it continuously creates new villagers. Got your guess? Then let's find out. To start answering the question, we need to know how much the town center costs to build. It's of course 275 wood and 100 stone. One approach we could take is to assume that the first villagers created are going onto wood and stone and then see how long they take to collect back that much. But I think an easier way is just to think of everything as the amount of villager work that went into collecting it, letting us treat all of the resources as a single resource, time. Let's see how that factors into the 275 wood cost first. A quick test with Castle Age upgrades gives about 31.3 wood per villager per minute, assuming it's a pretty much ideal wood line in camp. That means the town center's wood cost takes about 527 seconds of villager work time to pay back. Likewise, to pay back the 100 stone cost, I use some efficiently placed villagers without any stone mining upgrades. I don't think it's safe to assume that you'll have those upgrades before placing town centers, but it shouldn't really change the results very much anyway. I found they collected just under 24 stone per minute, meaning the 100 stone cost of the town center takes about 253 seconds of villager work time to pay back. Besides just the cost though, another thing we have to take into account is the construction time of the town center. Assuming you're building with 4 villagers, that takes a minute and 16 seconds, or about 304 villager seconds if you consider all of them. You can do it more efficiently with one villager in 150 seconds, but I'd say using multiple villagers is a bit more common, and four seemed like a reasonable number in a previous video I made on that topic. That puts the total building cost of the town center at 1,083 villager seconds of work, give or take. Of course, that isn't the entire cost that needs to be considered though, as you'll also need to create the villagers. It's great that the new town center is letting you make more, which over the long run should help your economy, but that 50 food per villager is still an extra cost that results from the new town center and needs to be included. I'll assume that food is being gathered by farmers who collect in Castle Age at a rate around 24 food per minute. That means each villager costing 50 food takes another villager 125 seconds of farming time to pay for. In a nice coincidence, that happens to make them exactly sustainable if you have five farmers for each town center. Another small cost to consider is that with Castle Age upgrades, collecting 50 food also takes about 8 wood to pay for the farm, which is another 15 seconds of villager work time using the earlier wood gathering rate. That means in total, every bright-eyed Castle Age villager popping out can be considered the fruit of about 140 seconds of other villagers' collective effort. Now we do have to assume here that you've distributed your economy to take care of all this food and wood balance, but we're now ready to start considering the combined building and villager cost to starting a new town. First of all, if you only produced one villager at a new town center, taking into account his 50 food cost, it would take him a little over 20 minutes to pay for both the town and himself. For only making one villager, that's actually not a terrible payoff time, and you can already see what a great economic investment new town centers actually are. In reality, you'll hopefully be more or less constantly creating villagers though, and each time they have to first justify their own creation before they're contributing to paying back for the town center overall. As time goes on, we are getting resources faster, but also the total amount we've invested is increasing. To see how it all fits together, I'm gonna graph two things using a 25 second time interval, as that's the time it takes to create a villager. First is the cost that we've sunk into the town center between the building and the villagers. That starts at 1,083 villager seconds to build, but of course goes up by 140 villager seconds to pay for the next villager. At the same time, I'm also going to graph the work done by those villagers, again in villager seconds, assuming they're able to jump into work right away after they're created. Of course, as your population goes up, the faster the rate will increase, since we'll have more and more villagers to contribute assuming they aren't being lost to raiding or wolves, etc. If we put it all together, this is what we get. 
The balance point finally occurs just after 7 minutes, meaning as a rough estimate that's about how long they take to pay off. Congratulations to anyone who guessed that as the answer to begin with. Something I want to point out though is that the largest loss of resources at any one point in time is actually not right after the town center is built. You might think the worst time to have the town center destroyed and all the villagers killed would be right after it's built, but your greatest exposure and when you're down the most is actually about two and a half minutes later, right when you've created your sixth villager. At that point, if the town and villagers are destroyed, you're out a little over 40% more than just the cost of the town center to begin with. In that context, when making a new town center, you need to ask yourself more than can you just afford the building, but also can you afford to populate it with up to six villagers so it can start to pay for the creation of more. Another thing I was interested in is how this changes for different civilizations. Compared to the baseline of a little over 7 minutes, the Persians with their 15% faster working town centers make villagers in just under 22 seconds instead of the usual 25. That lets them get the villagers out faster and lowers the break even time by about 15 seconds. The Britons in contrast do a bit better than that with their cheaper town centers, breaking even at about 6 minutes and 45 seconds once we adjust for the lower wood cost. As it turns out, Indians are best of all though, with their 20% cheaper villagers in Castle Age paying off their new town centers at ideally around 6.5 minutes. Of course, when putting all of this into a practical setting, things will never go exactly how they do on a spreadsheet, and you'll have to balance new town centers with other decisions like making military or getting technologies. Knowing when you can survive a 7 minute economic setback to improve your long term outlook is a matter of reading the game situation and your personal playstyle, though both of those things I would say are beyond the scope of the starting question here. You also have to consider the extra safety in having a building that can garrison and protect those expensive villagers, which is of course a major factor in open maps. Even if I can't cover every situation here, I hope this at least gives you a sense of the true cost of a new town center and how long you can expect for that to pay off. Also, quick thanks to Florian for suggesting this video topic. That's all for this one though. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.